Hey everybody, it's Nick here with another video and uh, this one is something that should be very simple but actually it's a little bit more difficult. So basically what we want to do is how do you calculate the age in a Dataverse column? So basically if it's someone's birthday, how old are they today? Now you would think this is a fairly straightforward thing to do in Dataverse and model driven apps and Dynamics 365, but it's one of those things that over the years there's been a whole bunch of different solutions and it came up in a project this week and I was trying to take a look at some of the ways it's been done in the past and I thought for myself there's got to be a better way. So if we actually look on the Dynamics 365 community there is a posting from like uh, three years ago um, and it goes through and how to calculate the age based on the date of birth and it goes through and creates a whole series of basically um, calculated fields the other thing is it's using the user local for the date only and again remember from my last video we want to be careful in using user local for things like birth dates because all of a sudden if your birthday is on March 28th then it might show up as March 29th or March 27th in different parts of the world for users in your system and basically your birthday really doesn't change on the date especially when you're calculating things like you know if you're a certain age to you know get a seniors discount or if you're old enough to drink so basically this whole series of different calculated fields definitely works and there's nothing wrong with the solution um, but it is quite complex and it adds a whole bunch of series of steps and of course it is using the user local so I thought to myself there's got to be a better way and there definitely is using power effects and formula fields in Dataverse let's take a look now first thing we got to do is a little bit of math so uh, it's not going to be as complex as Scott Duro math, but it will be a few little things here. So first off, if you're thinking age calculation, you think, oh, it's pretty easy. We just subtract the year of today's date minus the year of the birth date. So yeah, that's all well and good, but it's February right now. So what could happen is today's year is 2024. We minus the birth date, birth year of a friend of mine, and we have 52. Well, I can tell you that friend is not 52. He's actually 51 because his birthday hasn't happened yet this year. So that means we have to do an extra little calculation in this math. Wrong. Absolutely. All right. So what we need to do is we need to take today's date and then we need to minus the year of the birth date. And then we have to see if today's date is before or after the birth date and if so we'll just minus another one of the year so basically we have 2024 minus 1972 and if today is before March 28th it is it's February 14th it's actually we're going to minus an additional one so we have 51 which is correct so now that we have our math figured out now how are we going to apply that when we're creating our column in Dataverse now here I'm using the contact entity but this could be entity table this could be any table in Dataverse. Now, of course, the contact does have a birthday field, but I do believe that might still be using the user local. I haven't quite verified that. So for this case, I just created my own data birth field. So that's good. And I've made that, I'm just if you all remember from the last video in terms of time zones and things, I made this, if I go in the advanced options, I made this time zone independent, meaning that someone's birthday will be their birthday no matter where they are in the world or how anybody's looking at it, that system on that particular day so that's very important that we need to make sure that it's a time zone independent now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a brand new column and i'm just going to call that age and i'm going to say you know age as of today in the description remember always put in a description now data type here is we're going to choose instead of choosing a whole number which we would have done in the past if we were using calculated fields sorry um, number here and then use the calculated we're going to go right down to formula formula is pretty cool because you don't need to specify the data type it will figure it out so now what we need to do is type in our formula now here's the issue the, with power effects if i just wanted to basically get the formula and you know go to maybe copilot and ask it or even chat gpt without giving it the context that we're using a formula field here's what we might get 
So if we take a look at this formula, we still have the red squigglies under here and we take a look and it says date is an unknown or unsupported function. Now this is weird because we know that date is something, it is a function in PowerFX. So if we're using PowerFX in a Canvas app, for example, we could use date, but we can't use it here in the formula for, for some reason it's not uh, enabled or not supported. Uh, maybe they forgot about it or maybe that there's some other implications that they can't be used. So now we have to get a little creative with the formula in order to be able to still calculate the age. Let's take a look. All right, so now we got it to work. So basically we're putting the if function. Remember that we wanted to see if this today's date was before or after the birthday. So I'm basically taking the month, seeing if that's greater than the month of the date of birth. I'm doing an or condition to see if today is again the you know equal to the month and the day is greater than again the day of the date of birth and then finally taking that year and minusing the year um, from the year today minus the year of birth minus one anyways I'm going to put this formula up in the corresponding blog in the to the video notes as well as the boost quest for this week so basically this is the formula that we would use this is all checking out because we are using the month the UTC today function as well as the day and we're also pulling in that date of birth uh, column that we created uh, earlier for the for the birth date so I'm just going to save that oh um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to advanced options here and I'm going to change the decimal places to zero. Now this is going to result this as a decimal. That's the default for power effects. Again, we don't we just want to show the date of the year. So like whether the age is 48, 51, 52, but not the point zero zero. So I'm going to change the decimal places. I'm going to hit save. And now that's going to create that formula column. So let's add that to a form and let's take a look. All right, so I'm here on Jim Glynn's contact record. I see his date of birth was 1988 and his age is 35, which is doing the correct calculation because May 24th is not his birthday, has not um, come up yet, and his age is 35. Now, if we just did straight 2024 minus 1988, we would come up with 36. So let's just make, change something here. Let's change uh, his birth date to be before today. Um, or earlier in the year. So let's say it was, let's say his birthday happened to be on January 31st, 1988. I'm just going to hit save here. And then we see his age is 36. So it is calculating his age correctly using the power effects formula column. Hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you can now apply this and basically know everybody's age correctly. And uh, for my birthday, I, I like beer.